डे ऑन द हिल पे हमारे पहले स्पीकर हैं जनाब कीत आलसन एक मुस्लिम सिया फॉर्म कांग्रेसमैन है पाकिस्तान के हमदर्द हैं पाकिस्तान के दोस्त हैं पाकिस्तान जा चुके हैं और पाकिस्तानियों की एबिलिटी को यहाँ समझते हैं आइए देखते हैं कि जनाब कीत एलिसन आपसे क्या बातचीत करना चाहते हैं मुलाजा समय You know, let me welcome you to uh, the Capitol today. Um, I, I'd like to ask you a question, if I may. How many people, if you're willing to share, have lobbied on the Capitol in the past? Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is tremendously important. Great news because it means we have a lot of folks who are are new at this, but who are not afraid to come down here. <coughs> to their government, to their house, to the building you pay taxes to support, and tell people who represent you what it is that you would like. This is in the best tradition of the United States. This is what everyone does. As you march these halls today, and you talk to representatives, you will see people representing the insurance industry, the agricultural industry, the weapons industry. You will see people from the auto industry. You'll pe see people here from all walks of life. You'll see people here who are Americans and are 100% American, red, white, and blue, through and through and through, just like you. But they may find their roots in another land and want to help members of Congress understand the issues facing their 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 old country. So understand that there are, this is common. Americans of Jewish ancestry concerned about Israel. Americans of Armenian ancestry concerned about the Turkish Armenia issue. We learn a lot about the world through Americans who find their roots elsewhere and thereby help other Americans like say me understand the issues there. So please embrace your your the fact that you're 100% American but also you'll never forget Pakistan either. You understand what I'm trying to say? Very important to be clear on this. Pakistan full of imp impressively talented people of every description. If Pakistani Americans suddenly took a week off, our healthcare system would be devastated. Does anybody doubt this? It's absolutely true. Pakistani business people, Pakistani IT people, Pakistani taxi drivers all helping the United States become strong and prosperous. The United States, the country in the world with the largest gross domestic product of any nation in the world and not by only a little bit. The United States has a gross domestic product last I checked of about 17 trillion dollars a year. The next closest is China, and they're at about four and a half trillion. So I'm just trying to let you know that the United States and Pakistan are in a relationship where the if one benefits, the other doesn't lose. And if the other benefits, the, the, uh, the first does not lose. The truth is, where one benefits, the other can also benefit. Oftentimes when we're in relationship, we think, well, whatever I get, the other must lose, and whatever they get, I must lose, right? Not so when it comes to trade. When the trade is fair, when both parties benefit from the interaction, you can have a win-win scenario, and I believe that's what we're in favor, that's what we're looking at with the U.S.-Pakistani relationship. The United States obviously has a aid package that we are now considering with regard to Pakistan, and this is important. But let's never forget, foreign aid can never make a country prosperous. It can help alleviate emergency, and it can help solve important <coughs> gaps, but it can never bring prosperity. If used wisely, it can be the foundation for prosperity, but it can never be prosperity. We've got to work on a bilateral business relationship. And where you feel that there is a lack of fairness, please make that point. I guarantee you that most people you meet will not be experts in U.S.-Pakistan bilateral relationship. You are going to know more than most of the people you talk to. Not everyone, so it's important to talk to them with a spirit of humility. So let me say, I do support uh, um, Mr. Chris Van Hollen's bill regarding the uh, ROZs. I think it's a good bill. I want to let you know that this, this does come 
it's something of a, uh, this, this is, it is, a, it is somewhat of a, I am sticking up for principle here because I have a lot of friends in labor who are not that happy with the bill. But I'm going to stand on it anyway because I believe it's the right thing to do. And if you have friends who are in organized labor, it wouldn't be a bad idea for the leadership of this organization to contact them and say, look, your members of organized labor are going to benefit from jobs if the United States can sell to Pakistan and if Pakistan can sell the United States. One of those things that people like me are in a box with is we, it's hard to organize, promote trade and the, the rights of the American worker because, again, we often see these things as a win-lose proposition as opposed to a win-win proposition, which they are and should be. So let me just say again, I've been to Pakistan. I had a wonderful time. I love the Pakistani people. Some of my best friends in this world are Pakistani Americans. And I want you to know that I think that the Pakistani community in the United States is offering tremendous benefits to our country and more and more and more people need to hear about it. Thank you very much. Safir Pakistan. Another very important personality, Sheila Jackson. I am the Queen of Texas. I am always on the forefront of the forefront of Pakistan. On every moment, the woman of the forefront of the forefront of the forefront of the forefront of the forefront. This woman, this congresswoman, Sheila Jackson, is our voice, our voice, in the White House. This is a letter that we can reach very far from this. आइए देखते हैं कि शीला जैक्सन पाकिस्तान के बारे में और सीओ कन्वेंशन के बारे में क्या कहना चाहती हैं मलाना फरमाइए। Good morning to everyone. Thank you so very much for being here on the hill and inviting us to be able to join with you. Walker Khan, let me thank you for your enormous leadership, friendship. Uh, and your understanding that the importance of democracy is about being seen and heard uh, because that allows us to engage with each other. Forgive me for my delay. Uh, we were in the Homeland Security uh, Committee where we were discussing the importance of diversity. Uh, more Pakistani Americans working for the Department of Homeland Security. Uh, others of other backgrounds working for Homeland Security and engaging all of America in the idea of protecting the homeland. So I thank you for allowing me the opportunity to share just a few thoughts. I'm looking at your program and um, I see uh, any number of members and um, you have a dynamic uh, protocol here. And again, I look forward to being with the Pakistan American uh, CEO Convention. Uh, you have a friend in the White House uh, who is well aware of the long-standing importance of Pakistan. But when I started the Congressional Pakistan Caucus, it was a lonely, lonely journey. Uh, and it took a while to educate uh, this Congress about the uh, vitality of Pakistan-American community, uh, but the values of Pakistan. Not many people have read uh, the vision of Dr. Jenna and understood that <laughs> Pakistan was a democratic nation as it started its journey for leadership. Not many people have understood the transition of government in Pakistan, the different uh, democratic parties, uh, and, and yes, I say democratic, the vital and uh, vibrant press in Pakistan uh, is really signs of the underpinnings of the nation. But we know we have a task to work together uh, to put Pakistan in the 21st century where you would like it to be as Pakistani Americans. We know we have not only stereotypes, but we have challenges. Uh, there is no need to hide uh, the tragedy of 9-11 uh, and the involvement of individuals who were Pakistan heritage. But that is not the basis of stigmatizing. That should not be the general definition of a wonderful people and a wonderful country. I try to break those stereotypes every single day uh, because I believe it is important that we 